welcome to another week so if you're enjoying it please um subscribe press the like little bell button and then that'll notify you anything that's going on and follow us this week i had to get a bit of plowing done might even get some drilling done if, if it's if it stays dry we've got some cattle to move and we've got some chicken pens to get ready to be moved outside so there should be plenty going on follow us and have a look enjoying your hay They're growing, the jackets are starting to look a little bit tight. Huh? His clean just popped off. What, on that calf? Yeah. Did it? So we're just saying that it's um, getting too tight and it's just, just gone pop. Hmm. I'm going to take these off now because it's quite a warm week. Take them off? Yeah, I think so, boy. damp days for a little while. You might have to slip that one over his head. Just pick it up and slip it back. Pass them out. Get them in the washing machine for the next ones. Still got his market sticker on his back. To be fair, they look well, didn't they? Yeah. Keep an eye on the temperature over, get a cold snap, but put them back on again. Leave the stickers on because they'll, they'll, they'll come off when they're wearing now. They'll be a little scratch, won't they? Hey, buddy. That's the one that won't drink over there at the back there, but it's drinking well out of the bucket now, isn't he? Yeah. When he got no choice, that's the only way we was going to let him drink. We didn't go in with him. He fought with the others for drink, and he's getting a good belly full now. But calves are not very good at producing temperature when they're young, so we're looking. Cough, cough. No. I'm away from that corner, just getting the light on him on that corner. Like a dazzling. <coughs> Looking well, wasn't he? Yeah. What do you think, Meg? Hi, oh, Meg. Morning, hey. Meg. The car's looking well, yes? All right, is that water done there? Yeah. Let's put it round to the cow then. Go on then. Huh? Go on then. No, go on. Nothing fancy, but I don't like keeping the birds in too long, such as a uh, I hadn't even moved it because it's a bit wet. But old pig arc. Run around, we'll put some electric around it, but we'll move some birds into there. It's not brilliant, it's not got grass and everything else, but I don't really want to make an outdoor run this afternoon because I haven't got time. So that'll just get them out and get a bit of air. And um, we'll look at knocking up some um, some chicken runs the mobile ones but that'll be in a few weeks time well, late monday afternoon first so got the plough on so it's a fair lump near the plough where the fodder beat was he likes the sound of his tractor now it roars it's kind of straight by a bit but he's um, just got a horn and exhaust right now
Yeah. Get in to the field, away from that wet headland. It was wet. We've been give that a couple of days, and we've got a couple of days. That might be alright. You alright? Okay. Well, I think you want to drop that front front in a little bit more. more? Well, you look, you can first furrow look. Ain't taken enough. Yeah. To drop it in, just wind it a little bit. When you lift it on the arms, it lifts it all, not just the front. So if you just drop the front in a couple of turns, it perhaps would be a bit better. That plough's never sat right on that tractor, has it? Oh no, your wheels are probably too big. Yeah, well, you got two wheel drive. Well, you've got a free farrow with two wheel drive, and you've only got what seven acres here. How long have you been out here? That's all your fresh bit there, isn't it? Yeah. So you ain't been out here very long, have you? No. Half hour? Don't know. Don't know. Mm. What time are you working till? Till I fall asleep. Till you fall asleep. Well, can you stop just before you fall asleep? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll come back down and see you. I'll get your mum to do you some docky. Yeah. So, all right. I'll just just adjust that a little bit on that front link. So you just want to see that a little bit leveler, yeah? Because you can you can count your furrows quite easy. So just get it a little bit, a little bit more level. Yeah, so you want to pull it in a little bit more, which means you might have to ease her a bit on your arms. Yeah. So it's getting late on Monday evening. I just remembered I've got hospital tomorrow. So, um, get my results, hopefully. I've been told just to go into the walk-in and somebody has seen me. God knows. Um, I'm three quarters of the way down the orchard. I haven't seen a cow yet. I'm sure they're here. <laughs> um, I trust them, so, but I think they need a quick move because I ain't going to get time in the morning. We try not to move them on a, a Monday unless we get, unless we have to or we get time. So, but I don't think what I gave them yesterday was enough. I can see one cow um, was enough. So, yeah, I've got about half an hour of daylight, 10% of phone battery, which I don't really care if it runs out. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what, you can see where it's drier. But they graze it so, so much nicer. So, I think as well, thank you, Matthew, for sorting us out some more grass. So, we've got another, I don't know if it's about 10, maybe a bit more acres of, of grass we cut for hay. We can now put the cattle on it. So, it won't last massively long. I don't want to take too much off either. But, um, well, we'll eat it. But, um, yeah, we'll... We'll see what the weather does. I can see all. I can see all the cows now. So, <clears throat> work out how we're going to give them a bit more. If they need a bit more, they're still munching away quite nicely, didn't you? Hey, no, we're all coming over to say feed us some grass, aren't you? Hmm. So, what about if we just give you a little bit? There yeah, they all are. Hey. Right way right down the bottom corner. So, that's still, still a good feed here for them, but a little bit more been, would be a bit nicer. And they've come over and say, come feed us, but you've got bits like this all over the place. So, let's get them moved. So, 10 minutes to move them. I've just moved them probably 20, 30 foot across. And there is a bit of a, the sun's going down there. There's a bit of a bank there somewhere, not too far up, but that's about a, that's about a third of what is left they're now getting. So a move tomorrow afternoon or or Wednesday morning, we'll that be the we'll either do another third and then another third, or they'll do it all. Then they'll get the side of the road away. So that'll be Thursday back into the ultra perhaps Friday. Have one more go round and we'll try and move them Saturday or Sunday, depending on drilling. And if need be, we'll um, we'll give them a bale of hay to keep them. But I don't think they'll need it if they've got the whole orchard to walk round. 
if they can't find a day's feed and what they've left. So, there he is, right in the distance, ploughing. Oh. Sitting still, can't see him ploughing. There he is, he's on the move. He was out picking up net wrap. So we didn't clear the net wrap up, we left it in a couple of heaps on the field. And I did moan at him this morning, so make sure you don't plough that in. So, yep, yeah, that's Tuesday morning. Sorry it's a bit wavy, I should use my gimbal, but I'm bloody useless and I don't. Um, so I apologise for that. Trying to keep it as still as possible. Look at all the birds, look. See a post the other day, said, where have all the pigeons gone? Well, if you look at my clover fields, they're full of pigeons, so we've still got plenty. They've got seagulls, haven't they? Coming quick, haven't they? Not very long fields, it doesn't take long to get across it. My finger's in the way. Yeah, I know, I said unsubscribe, get rid of me. In two weeks time, I'm still standing here with a hose pipe. Guess what? Still standing here with a hose pipe. But I did have one week on my own, and that whole week was frozen solid. So my aim is, I need another week. <laughs> so bear with me. I hope next week I'm not standing here with a hose pipe. And technically I wasn't last week. I did use an IVC on a big hose and it took me about 30 seconds. But I don't really want to be driving around in the mud where I haven't got to. So my plan is still to put a bigger trough in and make it a bit more automated. Hopefully it's going to winter wheat this week. Not easy to get your get your depth and everything else right while you're um, trying to plough along. So hopefully it's going to winter wheat by the weekend. So it's Tuesday evening. Had my trip to the well to the hospital just to get my results, and I sat there for six hours a five minute reading of my results to say that I've got a collapsed disc that's gone forward between vertebrae five and six in my neck, so it's kind of from the top down, that's trapping, which has gone through towards the hole where all the nerves and everything else are, and that's trapped on my nerves. Um, to be told that I've got to go and see another specialist to see whether I need physio, injection or operation so yeah i spoke to my lady and she said i need a thing to which i've got at home that pumps up and sort of lifts my head off my head off my shoulders if you like and apparently if i was to do that for six months one or two minutes a day and, and then build the time up that maybe it will sort of rectify itself have you ever wondered look when you've got a plough that's got both sides like that so usually don't know ploughing pull a lever, plough turns over, wheel drops down and then that'll plough so you can go up and down the field in the same place, whereas if you had one with an old one which doesn't reverse, like a horse one or just a one or two thorough old fashioned tractor one, you'd have to go up and round around the field if that makes sense. So yeah, so I'm going to try that next thing when I get in maybe tonight maybe in the morning and I'll start doing that and fingers crossed that maybe that will ease because this morning was just unbearable and the pins and needles and it's daily in my face I feel like a, a 
the dog on the cartoon with the droopy eye. Um, even though my eye's not droopy, it feels droopy and it feels horrible and miserable. As if you can even hear me rambling while I'm sitting on the track to see. It's not very often I get um, get a night on the track to see. There's a fair bit of fat hen on that side. 90% of it is ploughing in. Now, as you know, we don't use chemicals here, or we haven't done for a while. Um, it may cause me a bit of a headache, but if it does, we may have to um, mow, mow the wheat or graze it at this end, but it's only really it's only bad on about two acres and about a seven acre field so it's not overly worried if it goes slightly wrong um, or we can always plough it back in again and sort of carry on that way anyway that's it that's my evening I shall get done when I get done hopefully not too much longer within the hour or an hour something like that I'm excited. I've got hard to see. The end of the field. See it? And look over there to there. And I've got to leave a headland. So, won't be long. And I'll be on my way home. <laughs> Wednesday morning. Morning. Are you all hungry? If I call your name and say hi. Hereford. Bowie. Billy. Well, speak up then, are you all here? So, get these moved, start of the day. I oh, know they'll need that. So, last little bit, so depressing. We've moved up the roadway. Day out the top, so you've got about a day's worth there. Ain't you, girls, eh? Hey? About a day's worth there, and a day's there, so. Thursday move again, Friday. so I've got to move you at the weekend. Now, it's whether we go and graze some fodder beet that's been damaged. Some fodder beet that's been damaged by the frost, whether we go and graze that, but that's starting to go a bit mushy and I'm a bit worried that they might not, <coughs> they might not do too well on it. Um, so we're going to walk that today and have a think. I never think whether it'd be a bit better if we left it a week, ten days, for the rock to sort of stop, with a rock wheel, and then hook them out the ground with a drag behind the tractor. Yes, <laughs> I can see yeah, but we're not going this way; we're going that way. Um, so time will tell on that. So we'll have a look at that, or if we're going to just put them on some grass. But whatever we do, we need an easy time, not next week, the week after, because we're planting trees. So. We need an easy cattle time for that period. I think looking at that, and then looking at that, I think they've done a lovely, tidy job. A few places where they've travelled. That's a bit muddy, but... <coughs> you couldn't have done that with a, with a mower so cheap. So the bird's coming on nicely. Just a quick thing, we just put them in a... Well, Thursday morning, we've called them up. We want them to walk underneath the fence, and they're saying, they're saying, but we've already eaten all that grass, what do you want to say for? Come on! Walk this way, boys, see if they follow. Come on! If not, we might have to try driving them under. Come on! Smile. Got a joke to tell? No. God, tell a joke. Where do you find a cow with no legs? There you go. <laughs> Trying to get you in the mood, boy. Come on. Go on in, go around them. Because they follow me. Come on, just walk through. Come on. Come on in. Exactly where that fence was, I ain't got to see it, I ain't know it's there. But also, no, there's no fresh grass that side. But walking exactly along where that fence line was, that one through. Come on! I'm not 
guy film it. I bet he's having a right up against him. Here they come. <laughs> Hit it off. <laughs> what? I hate Galloways. And that one. And that one. And that one. Any more. Where? Yeah, Why? What did he put? Bloody useless drivers. See if I can roll a little bit of coal for you. That will no doubt moan at me. Yeah, it's worth it. <clears throat> Drive to the end, so you just take the right end of the pond and get to the bottom thing. So, we're gonna really in all this bottom end of fencing today. Then it move them out. We're going to be planting trees on the top. So, we're going to find a gap underneath the trees, so I'm about hitting the trees. Okay, now slowly, yeah. You think it's Nigel Mantle on the tree? You've got to be, to get to the bottom, you've got to be over there. You've got to be over there. Right, just pull up to the right and then stop. And then we've got to pick up all the fencing. That's it, that'll do. Let's pick up all this wire, all this fencing. Turn her off, let's get going. First bit of wire picked up. Third's off really, and then another bit up from over that side. Post up. Fence round there. Cut and moved again. First few. Really need to clean that out. A few more. That's a fodder beat we went and looked at yesterday. If you look at that line there, so all this is above ground and it's like rotting. You can see the juices coming out of it. That's below ground, which is still really, really good. 
enough to hook them out of the ground to be able to get it because I think that's too soft that when they're eating that they're not gonna I mean this is you can just see that like a sponge <clears throat> and I'm not sure that's good enough for them and they could go backwards or they could get ill or they could die I don't know maybe not die but um but this bit here is what we want the bottom bit but I'm just not sure if it's worth the aggravation to nip, pull them out of the ground with a, a spring tine or something just so they can eat that but they're still going to eat the top bit and I don't know how well they're going to do on that puzzling one very quickly windy and noisy so I've just set a fence out there just to graze this down here but they've got to come through there to get to it and that will allow us to set up some gates in that corner because we'll have them in here we'll be able to shorten this so they have to go into the gates we might be able to just get five at a time into the gates <coughs> and then that way we can be moving to the next field how you doing looks like a short one for us isn't it with a white belly doing well when you Billy too how are you mum a bit tetchy but you're okay isn't you oops Prize plonk, I think we can call him today. So he left some seed in the drill, and well, he grew all up the block coulters, all in the bottom of the drill. Yeah, so four hours later, we're um, we're running it like that, all the way through. We end up dumping what was left on the floor. It's only about a bag and a half. Wouldn't have took them very long to take it out last back end. So that's me done moaning. Here we go, 2023. So this is winter wheat going in. This is second day of February. So I don't know if that's right or wrong. I'm not an arable farmer really. Should lift it up, back up just a little bit, and then put it down and go again. This is the, where we had the fodder beat and the cattle. So you can see it's a fair size, fair size field. I'm going to show you the land though. This is sort of um, so you get hold of, let's get hold of that bit there, look. But just can't get hold of it. So it's quite good land and it hasn't had we had wheat on a section of it a third of it say and then this bit had fodder beet plenty of fat hen and the far ends had veg for the last three years and a bit of fodder beet so and veg from anything from collies and cabbages to but anyway a lot of people will be jealous of that land so we'll see how we get on we might have to feed it we might have to spray it, but we're trying not to. And I'm out here drilling. So I'm making the waste across the field now. Um, too early for this. Falling asleep, basically. I don't even know why, I just got up at like half five, so. Yeah, this is what it looks like from in the cab. That's the noise I'm constantly hearing because there's no back window. But yeah, so I'm gonna carry on. Morning, can't believe it's Friday already. So we're just walking down here, um, make sure they've got enough water, make sure the water's turned off so they can clear it all up. They're following you thinking they're gonna get moved, but they've still got a bit to eat out here. Um, I think we're gonna do the big move tomorrow. So I'll probably try and get a couple of hours of fencing done today. 
think my fence has left a reel down here as well. So get a bit of that done today and get them moved. Spend, spend tomorrow moving them. <laughs> look at that view, look. Can't get bored of seeing that. What a lovely sky. So this part of the building ain't come down as well as I'd like, but it's good enough to see. It's down there. Push you to move that veg planter rather than play around it. That's, that's teenagers for you. But this ground here is now looking a bit floddy, so. Should have stopped before we got to here. So, starting at half five this morning. I'll give them a call. So, just looking, so here it's not too bad. But where he just was, there's a line goes across the field, and I think it was wet there when we was grazing. So it's a bit cloddy where he's drilled and perhaps he should have gone down a gear and nearly fallen over. Um, but I think there's just a section here to here that was wetter when we grazed. But if you remember that end of the field was stubble, so he's <coughs> um, saying that end breaking up quite nicely, so we wander down and have a look. He's broke his major. Anybody know anything about? That one Ford's and Super Major, it's spurting oil out of here. This is a bit loose, but it looks like it's coming out the cap, which just sits on as a breather. Anybody got any ideas why it's doing that? Any tractor experts out there? So let us know. So when the country boys pass their 16 year old driving test, most of them buy a tractor rather than a moped. to watch them because they stand around they do a lot of talking don't they David yeah got so much in life to talk about at that age here comes Smiler so it's only a small section where it's a bit cloddy so and make it easier to turn and we'll play that last and get that in. There we go again. Now back on the good bit up the other end but look at that. It's only been ploughed two days. Patch of that in here, just heavy where he is. Happy heifers, all laying down, all chewing the garden, you girls. Hmm? Yes, you happy? Yes, so it's a bit mucky this end. We haven't put no extra straw down because if you look, we're getting quite high up. And if we keep going, they'll be hitting the heads on the roof. So, why it's dry, they're not getting dirty. So, we've just put the hay in and we've, we've left them to it. So, Let's um, <coughs> try and conserve some straw in the dry weather and um, we don't want to be banging your heads. And I'm sorry we haven't got you out, but we never got the field fence that you're supposed to go in and then the heifers ate what you're supposed to have had. So you'll be out next winter, hopefully all winter. That's the plan. So most of these, if they make the grade, will be what we're keeping for ourselves. There's about two I don't. I haven't took my fancy. So, and there's one or two in here that are really, really nice. What are you wanting your dinner? Yes? Yeah, we're gonna get you some fresh creep. They're mostly on creep now, but they still like a little bit of milk. Why ain't got no milk with me now, no. No, I haven't, no. Don't break my thumb when you head back forward. You realize there's no milk in there, eh? Hmm, let's get you fed. That's what we feed them from our local feed mill. They love that. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. 
Hey, here. Perhaps up, up the amount of that they're getting. Multi piggies. No, you're the wrong side of the fence. Don't go up there. That fence hasn't given any kick. Multi, don't do it again. Walk around the fence, I can hear it clicking. Pigs pushing the soil up all the time. I think when people have pigs and that, I don't realise how. How destructive they are. So, see, look, just here, look, it's a big lump there on top of the and underneath there. So, that's my corner post, that's the hardest one to lift. If you do put your welly on it, just in case you've got, oh, don't grab hold of, grab hold of the plastic. <coughs> you get hold of metal and you get a wallop off that, that hurts. So, excellent. Just give it a bit more punch. I'll keep it quite low because of the little little pigs. <clears throat> Look at your little boggers. You need your water topping up. So put that tap there, first frost, and now the tap doesn't turn. Seems they don't make taps like they used to. So the tap turns up and down, but the plunger on the bottom of it just shears straight off as soon as a little bit of ice in the tap. They're bloody useless. Used to get a tap, the crack before anything else would go wrong with them. So now to fill that up, I've got to take the tap off or carry a bucket a long way. Well, it was drying up. I went and then the piglets were out, traced them for a couple of moments. Time I come back, that trough's overflowed. Now look at the mess. So just get you nice and solid and can nearly walk on it. Now I need my waders. What an empty. Yes, Carl's still here. Hey Carl, how are you? Still going. That's um, Friday evening, so we haven't been on it all day. Because uh, we have other jobs to get on. We've been doing a bit of fencing today. So, but he just stalled it, and it's going to be a bit of a bugger this tractor. If you stall it when it's hot, it needs like half an hour before it'll restart. But um, we've just got a jump pad, whack that on that, that'll probably get that going. Hopefully he's checking his coulters. Um, they're three bunged up this morning. You'll see them when the when the week comes through. It'll be all stripy. So hopefully that's not the case. But um, I think he started it yet. Because I should think if he starts it, the back will pick up. Give him a minute to get the jump back on. Yeah, so hopefully. I mean, I don't know what time it is now. But it must be 7, 8 o'clock time. He's at the, the last bit down there, is the last bit of veg land just where them trees are there now. So, in theory, he should be able to do that tonight. That uh, means it won't start and he's my Land Rover. Want to start? I think we've got to wait for it to cool down a little bit. It's still a bit warm. Warm? It shouldn't be warm at all. Let's have a look, see. I think it just glares back on me. There must be a way I can turn this bit off. So just driving around the next field because he's just the other side of a stowaway, but yeah, he's a little bit warm. But um, it shows the hours we put in. So he started at half past five this morning and I've gone straight past the stowaway. What a numpty. They'll be laughing at me. Oh, I've got to be aiming for that tree. I told you it sent the glare. There's a tree there, look. Um, see it? You see tree? There's a little star away here, but at this tree. So we started at half past five this morning. We haven't really stopped today. We had an hour for lunch. That's all, that's all we had. Um, can you get there? And um, can you get to that? Um, can you get to that now? No. I'm jumping. Uh, well, I'm back in there then. We've got some space here yet, Paul. Huh? We've got some more space here yet. I'll, what I'll do is I'll back in there. Just watch me back. Get back in. Oh, and then I'll close it. Terrible climbing back. Hey, we used all that one. Oh, we get some jippy here, don't we? Eh? And um, so yeah, uh, the wife was up half a night. We had one of our kitchens up and have some pups um, in the night. So that was a 
long night, so I was up, I don't know whatever time it was she told me to get up. Now I can't see nothing. So I don't go down that ditch. Should really be. Should really be talking to you. Oh, I'm trying to negotiate the well, Mr. Ditch and the tractor. <laughs> Doing reasonably well when I ain't running anybody over. So um so I got up early hours of the morning, I don't know what time it was. 3 34 o'clock. Um sat with a bitch. Who really did nothing, I just sat there watching YouTube actually, to be fair. Got the boy up at 5.30, got him on the um to go drilling, so he went drilling. Then I got up, potted around the house on a few jobs on the chicks out the back and the dogs took them for a run out. And then um, we were just sitting down, me, young Jack and Mrs. in what we call our middle room, which is which is our messy room, which is like our office, if you like, there's stuff everywhere. And then we've got a big fish tank in there and it, we've got two great big Oscars and it looks like they're, um, they're, they're about to give birth. Are you recording a broken down tractor? I'm recording your broken down tractor. Yeah, I'm not talking. Trust you back. Why are all your lights gone dim? Because no. I, I probably just caught them. Yeah, this ain't yeah. starting. What do you want to do then? Do you want to just leave you for 20 minutes? Yeah, let it cool down. No, you can so. wait here for 10 minutes. I don't want to wait here talking to you for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to wait here and talk about it. No, no, you got any jokes, Bert? Tell me one about Scarecrow. I'm the one that's stuck with him. Go on, give us a joke. Right, why? Oh, not what? the dad jokes again. <laughs> no, I have to laugh tonight. Go on. Oh, why did a square Scarecrow win an award? I don't know. Because it was outstanding in its field. Oh, <laughs> you got any pebble? No. No? <laughs> He mentally traumatised me the other day. Oh, oh no. I don't think than you. Yeah. Think? What, you actually think? What yeah. brain is there in that fucking thing? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine a lot of that going on. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can get a video of the, of the fish, because it looks like they're about to um, lay a load of eggs. We never, never had them do that before. Just leave her, boy. Um, no, when she gets a bit warm, she can be like that for a little while. Yeah, she doesn't like it. No. Anyhow, we're going to crack on and do something else. I ain't going to sit here for nearly an hour with him. <laughs> Leave the tractor there. Come back and hope you never fully charged it. So no, then it's we'll a decision made. Away. He's going to come home for some docky. And, um, if he can open his tractor. If he can open his tractor. <laughs> 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 he slammed the door shut. You need hey. WD-40, not a vape to open it. <laughs> and um, yeah, we give a tractor half hour. She just does that oh, sporadically. We can never really get to the bottom of it. Ford, fix and repair daily. Yeah. Uh, so, come on, boy. Up on in. Right, let's go have some dinner. Got stew, beef stew. Is he sitting in the back? No. Is yeah. It, he's sitting in the boot. He ain't driving up the road in the boot, is he? Yeah. So, <laughs> Not bad. He's in the boot. Brilliant. Oh, not tea. You'll be cold, we won't. Right, we're gonna go close the window up for the heating on. See you later. Bloody light on the thing, I don't turn it off. I reckon them two there. Look, they've cleaned all the bottom of the sand off. I reckon they're having babies. Did you? Or laying eggs. Hey, eh? you big ugly things, ain't you? Cleared all that sand, I've never ever done that before. And this one keeps laying on its side. And they're fighting all the other fish in there, pushing them away. I'll go along and show you. Yeah, we've got a big fish tank. <laughs> Saturday morning. So, we've done a few jobs already. They're just gonna go over there somewhere. You can see them behind the trees. Just going to drop the drill off at the field because we'll put it back on again a bit later. We're going to feed up, straw up, do a bit of milling. Um, then we're off to move the cattle. So move the heifers to another bit of grass. So And uh, something to come pigeon shooting because there's a fair lot of pigeons on the, on the land this morning and some rooks. So get them 
few bangs into them, scare a few of them off. Hopefully they'll get a few. So that's Saturday for us. So another crazy busy day, probably gonna be a bit manic until we got the cows moved. Once they moved, it'll, it'll ease off and then hopefully somebody, they're gonna rook, so can you see them? Bloody things that all the way down. I think you can see them. All the way down there, there must be 30 or 40 of the bloody things. I hate them. Um, so anyway, they've got to be they've got to be trimmed up a little bit. They can't just turn up and um, eat all the crop. So they probably will. Look at all the black grass on there. Look. So should be able to get control under that. So, yeah, so Dave's about feeding up this morning and um, getting the cows moved and then getting the drilling finished tonight or first thing in the morning then that's all drilled so middle of the field's a bit heavy but the far end's a lovely bit of silt so we'll drop the um won't be going as deep with a power harrow and probably be able to go a little bit faster anyway better go pulling that on the road now doing the tiktok ain't you boy eh <laughs> well you're always happy to see me ain't you boy yeah always happy you're not so happy are you you're looking at the pigs Hey. <laughs> Come on, good play, good play. That, that, that'll do, that'll do. Good boy. Oh, Meg. Bit of Meg time, yes. <laughs> You're a soppy one, ain't you? Little bit of Project Mud. You remember this is all like slop. Well, now, this is, this is bricks underneath here and bits. So I've just got that loose stuff. Get that to one side so once we get another tray load in that hole we can pretty much walk across the yard without sinking all up here all the way to the pigs no oh, mucky pigs you're a good looking pig aren't you i like that one and this one my ideal type of pigs messy buggers look straw in there they push it all down they push their bloody arc away she's a great big lump isn't ya mm. all these have been mated now so i've got to cut the gilts i think further in pig than what these are to unknown boars um did you have to do that with a hose pipe to muck this water trough out, but that's tomorrow's job. I'll put a straw, pound of straw in here tomorrow. Leave <coughs> the fucking horse pipe along. You're always up for something, aren't you? Hey, look at you. Hmm, not care in the world. Where does dinner come from? How do you pay for it? Hey, what are you paying on rent or mortgage? Anything? No, no. Nice tasty looking pig. Hopefully keep a few gilts out of her when she comes around this time. come move the cows they're all out there on that roadway bit apart from two go around them round and put them out there i we'll set up a handling pen along here remove that bit of electric and hopefully we can funnel them with the electric straight into here load out the gate put them on a new bit of grass i think they'll be a little bit hungry so they'll be wanting it all right good luck
Load more to go. Not the best bit of munch, but you're happy, ain't you? Number 45. Hmm? So, been a bit short in the orchard the last few days, probably a week. They've not had as much as what they had at the start with. But, well, not too fast because I don't really want them getting too fat. So, I'm quite happy with that. A76. I don't know all their numbers. <laughs> I oh, know that one though. This is 75 or 76 years. Yeah, I think that's 73. No idea on the, them two. That's a steer. So, they still look well. Hereford looks right, doesn't it? Hereford Cross. We cross with a red pole, so tighten up the fence and um, wait for the track to come back with the next load. So, not the best eating, but it's eating. So this field is poor yielding field, but I'm just getting down here, look. All this clover, and there's loads of it. Now, I presume this is coming off of our haymaking equipment because the field itself is riddled with bits of ragwort. Not too much, but there is bits out here. You can see one there, one there which is a pain, not a lot I can do about that, but the worst thing is, oh, there's a mole. Bristly ox tongue, this one. Look at it all, everywhere. That's, that's that plant for people who don't know. And it seems to thrive, so this isn't a stewardship. We can't cut this field till um, end of July for hay, but we are allowed to graze it. And where we have been grazing, we haven't got the bristly ox tongue, but, that we haven't been grazing we've got loads of it and sort of a lot of it in this area and i think a lot of it coming in sheep years ago when we used to keep keep sheep and move them around the farm but this field's just got unbearable so it'll be interesting to see if a couple of strip grazers during the course of the year might um might be the answer to it because look at it all look horrible stuff yeah Take it home in the hay, they shit it out. All the seeds, next field full of it. Hmm, so it'd be nice to maybe, maybe the strip grazer sort that. Yeah, be through that gate in a minute. Well, I need a shave. Looking quite scruffy. Hmm. Here he comes. <clears throat> He'll come up this field like he's got a fucking lion chasing him. He will. Up here like a loony. Only no one speed at this age, isn't it? Don't even pick his mate up that leaves his mate stand. Mate, we'll go way down there to get lifted up. Tell you, look. Come on, sure that foot goes down a little bit further on the accelerator. Go on. Told you. He must be in a rush. I'm gonna fix the energizer up for the next one. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell him where it is. He'll be a shock when he gets over that trailer when he backs into it. Wonder how many got on. Time will tell. All these fashionable mullets at the minute. How many did you get? Five. Huh? Five. Five. We've got uh, five, nice more, you? Uh, five good ones. Hmm. Yeah. Right, we're heading back that way anyway. Alright. Oh, fucking white cow shit on me, you bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're 
Oh dear. Yep. There's one new little pop that we've kept back. Where'd you go? Hmm? It's the first walk. I've cheated. I've took the chair because I usually wouldn't walk much. So I'm having a sit down. What a beautiful day sitting out here. That Sunday afternoon is the end of our week. So once again, thank you for watching. Hope you've liked it. If you could, subscribe, push the like button, the little bell will give you notifications. And you'll be seeing a little bit more of this little girl. Wouldn't you? Yes. First time from a little, little mate, brothers and sisters. First time because now your inoculations are all in, aren't they? Yes. If you're all now healthy, you can go for a walk. So, for those that don't know, I breed a few of these. I enjoy these. I've had these all my life. Um, that I've been working on farms for rats and bits of pest control and just thoroughly love it, having a dog or two about me or, or a dozen <laughs> so and um she's 12 generations i bred her mother and 11 generations before you didn't i eh so yeah just sitting at the back so taking her for a first run <laughs> anyway thank you everybody hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again next week come to you let's go for a walk